So at the recent Internet of Things World Forum in Chicago, I was really impressed by, by three or four things that I took away from it. The first was the extent to which uh, over the last year there really has been an explosion in the number of devices and the things that people are doing with them that are being connected to the Internet. Uh, and this is actually defining the, the, the IoT. Uh, and that's really uh, seems to be at the cusp of a major transformation that's happening. The, the second takeaway was that we're really running into potentially a very big skill shortage here, that whether it's the technical and engineering skills to create these systems or the business skills to understand what the opportunities are to really uh, transform businesses use, using IoT, these are in short supply and there are some big implications for us in higher education uh, and, and for the industry itself. And so there was a lot of discussion about uh, how to try to solve that problem. Uh, and, and the third takeaway was notwithstanding all of the, uh, the, the, the opportunities and, and the great examples that were talked about, that there are still some pretty big barriers, things like privacy and security are becoming increasingly uh, important concerns. Uh, and some of those can be solved perhaps by industry. Uh, some of them will need to have the industry come together uh, to work together to solve those these challenges, and some of them may require some policy interventions uh, as well. And the places in the world that are more successful at doing that may well get a competitive advantage uh, from being able to to do it. So, you know, why is this so compelling? Why, you know, what what's the mo motivation to to do this? Well, you know, the, the the kind of benefits that that were illustrated are, are quite significant. Whether we're talking about smart cities using connected devices and Internet of Things to improve the delivery of services, or smart minds uh, that can be much safer and more productive uh, places than traditional heavy industry would would uh, might have been. Uh, one example that was that, that really struck me and was quite relevant to our, to our own uh, organization here in executive education was one of the people attending the conference actually uh, attended as a robot essentially uh, using a thing called the AVA 500 produced by iRobot which is uh, an MIT uh, startup uh, along with some technology some video conferencing technology uh, from from Cisco enabled somebody who was in Germany to actually wander around uh, this whole conference and participate and talk to other other participants and even be a, a participant in one of the panel discussions. Uh, and it really struck me that we need to here at, at MIT Sloan Executive Education make sure that we understand what the implications for how we can deliver and how we need to deliver our learning uh, using these kinds of technologies. And indeed, we're doing a lot of work uh, like that. Also very important for us to think about what are the implications for, for the content of our programs? What is it about this whole new world of business and Internet of Things, the, the, the executives who attend our program really need to understand and be able to grapple with to enable their businesses to succeed.